Hi there, this is Dr. Payne recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well. Thank you for watching this clip on solving linear equations. Solving linear equations is quite important, especially in Algebra 1. It's one of the big, shall we say, uh, pivotal concept in Algebra 1. This clip is about doing it with effortless strategy, almost lazy in a way. Okay, so the trick is really keep it clean and look for the shortcuts. So let's get started with the first one. We've got to clean this one up. I don't know about you, but when I see a fractional equation, my hair stands up. I don't like them. So over the years, we found this visual tool for students. When you see fraction, think butterflies. Okay, the butterfly says diagonal, multiply. So you have x plus 1 times 1 is equal to itself, equal to the other diagonal, 5y plus 2. Now, of course, you can find a common denominator and multiply left and right. And ah, what's the fun with that? Okay, we want to make it a visual, make it a fun, so you can remember under pressure. All right, so over here, let's clean it up a little bit. 5 minus 5y is equal, oh, x minus 5y. There's 1 here, there's 10 on this side. So if you subtract 1 over here, you have a 9. Okay, so that's the first equation gets cleaned up. Next, the equation is not too bad, but sure is messy. It has a lot of terms in there. So let's see how we can do it effortless on this one. Let's multiply each one out. So we started with the 6, 6x minus 15. Now watch over here, I know I'm going to be combining a lot of terms, so instead of writing it all on the same line, which I have to move around, let's try something different. I'm going to have a minus 12y over here, that's the first term. Now this is minus 4 times positive 4 is minus 16. I'm going to write minus 16 over here, so I can line the terms up, because I have to combine them anyway. There's a 5 on this side, so I move it over here, it's minus 5, and then I have it equal to 0 on this side. I have 6x minus, this is a 36 minus 12y equal to 0. Now once I get over here, I want to keep my coefficients as small as possibly I can manage. Of course, I spotted there's a 6 in common for all of them. Let's divide 6 for all of them. I have x minus, uh, let's do the 2y first. Okay, I have a minus 6 here, I'm going to put a 6 on this side. So this becomes my equation 2, and this was my equation 1. Now let's write those two equations together as a system equations. This one looks much prettier and easier, less intimidating to deal with than the first one we were given this. Now from here, we technically have three methods to solve this. You can graph it. A lot of people don't count this one as a method, but actually graphing is a method to solve system equations. Or, for this case, it's really easy to eliminate. And eliminating just says, look, we're going to eliminate. What you can do is subtract equation 1 and equation 2 together. So let's try it. This minus 5 minus minus 2y, that becomes a minus 3y equal to 3, so y is equal to minus 1. Pretty easy to get that. Okay. Now, if we want to do substitution, which is also okay, what you want to do is then you solve for the variable that doesn't have a complicated coefficient. So this 1 is a lot easier to solve. So if I take equation 1, I can get that x is equal to 9 minus Oh, actually, plus 5y. Okay. Now, I'm going to substitute to equation 2. Every time I see x, I'm going to have 9 plus 5y minus 2y equal to 6. I have a 3y here equal to minus 3, and then y equal to minus 1. Yep. I got a room over there a little bit. Let's see if I can move it over so you can see. Let's do a little more. Sorry for the 
technical difficulty. All right, so both cases will get a y equal to minus 1. And from here, both methods, it's the same. Once you have y equal to minus 1, you can do x is equal to 9 plus 5y. So x is equal to, squeezing here, let's put it up here so you can see it. So here I had x is equal to 9 plus 5y. y is minus 1, so x is equal to 9 minus 5, or x equal to 4. Okay, so here's both methods works out. So the trick is really, think about it when you're doing a complicated system equations, clean it. The big effortless, effortless strategy is clean, kind of like a spring cleaning. Thinking clean. All right, hope this one helps you. Again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.